The microcontroller that I'm using for this project is called an ATtiny85. And when you buy them, they don't do anything when you get them from the supplier. You actually have to go in and program them. And to program the ATtiny85, you'll actually need an ATtiny85. You also need the Arduino IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. It's just a fancy name for actually the programming panel that you actually enter the programming commands and control the chip. You also need something like the SparkFun AVR Tiny Programmer, which is what I'm using. And then if you have Windows, you need some drivers. And to obtain the Arduino IDE, you want to go to the Arduino website, which is https www.arduino.cc Once you get there, this is actually a wealth of knowledge and you can uh, get an idea what the Arduino system is a little better here. Uh, there's a learning area, I mean tutorials, references. You're going to want to probably visit this page often when you're doing uh, these types of projects. Anyway, for now, we want to go to software, and then there's two versions. There's one that's web-based, and then there's one you can download. Well, since we're using the ATtiny85, we have to download it. So just simply come up here, and uh, whether you have Windows or Mac or Linux, just download the appropriate version, and then just install it on your computer. And there's actually a tutorial that will help you, and I'll show you that next. And then we want to look for AVR Tiny Programmer. And if you haven't figured it out, you've got to buy one. And if you go down to Hookup Guide, click on that. And this tells you A to Z everything about this tiny programmer. And you can see here it says Required Materials. In addition to the Tiny AVR programmer, you'll need a AT Tiny 85, which we've discussed, and a computer, of course, and Arduino installed. So if we click on that, this tells you how to install the Arduino IDE. And we've already downloaded it from Arduino website, but this just has a comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install it. And it shows you how to install it with Windows, the different versions of Windows, as well as Linux and a Mac. This will actually go a little bit further than you need. Once you've installed it, that's as far as you need to go. You can go back. From here, we want to come down and this tells you next, if you have Windows, you're going to have to install some drivers for the ATtiny85. Gives you a really good tutorial on how to do that. But if you have a Mac or Linux, you don't need install drivers, so you can skip the rest of that. So I actually have my SparkFun Tiny AVR programmer here with a ATtiny85 plugged into it. And on my Mac, there is a USB port on the side I can just plug in. And so now the board is connected to the computer. So once we have our Arduino IDE running, that's this right here, this, this thing. We want to go and look at the tools, and we want to make sure that the board says ATtiny. And this is going to be a little bit different on a Mac versus on a PC. So make sure it says ATtiny. Then the clock is 1 megahertz. If we have anything else set, the timers are going to be off. So make sure it's very important that you set this to 1 megahertz. And the processor you can see here is ATtiny85. And that should be all we need to have uh, to get this thing to work. Now if you see here under Step 5, under the SparkFun tutorial, there is a sample program. Click on copy code. And then we can bring our Arduino IDE up again. 
And whenever you start with a new file, it's always going to put in this setup and this loop. These are both mandatory. What we want to do is we just copy that code and we just want to say paste. And so we've not only copied the code here, but we've deleted what was there. And again, we see we have a setup and a loop here. And what we're doing is we're going to designate a blinking pin, designate that as an output, and then we're just going to turn the pin on and off, on and off, on and off. Now the options you got is you can save this program. And you have also open and new. And this verify, if you don't get any errors here, then the program is going to download, okay. And then we want to say upload. This is actually going to upload into the AT1085. And when you do that, you can see a little bit of activity on the LED there. And then that's the program loading. Once the program is done loading, it's actually going to start working. So now that LED is blinking on and off. And that's the program that the AT Tiny 85 is now executing. We built that program and then we put it in here and now it's running. If you can get to this point, then everything is working properly. And so this is just a brief overview basically of how to get the Tiny AT 85 ready to program for our projects. And if you have any trouble, just go in the the internet, type in tiny AT85 tutorial or something like that. You'll find dozens and dozens of tutorials. Here's a 12 minute long YouTube video just on installing the drivers for the AT85 boards. Instead of me reinventing the wheel and going through all of this stuff, it's already online. So I'm just kind of giving you my view of what you need to do to start using the AT Tiny 85 and my preferred route, which is, of course, using the SparkFun programmer.